Hi guys, it's Andy from Man City Fan TV. Well, just having some dinner uh, in the hotel. Um, bit of an update. Uh, we hit the 4K, which is great. We're going to go for 5K, um, hopefully, before the derby, according to Ray. Uh, I'm not sure that we're going to be able to do that, but uh, we'll certainly go for it. So, um, if we can get you know, 5K before the end of the year, that'd be fantastic. So, um, yeah, just here in Baku, still in the hotel reception, having just waiting for my dinner. Uh, it's 7.30 in the evening. Uh, probably 4.30 UK time. Uh, as far as news today, um, well, there was an interesting uh, article that came out with regards to how much money uh, clubs had made in the Champions League last season. Uh, and, you know, surprisingly, uh, okay, to say not surprisingly, Liverpool uh, were the top that group around about 80 million because they got to the final uh, but Chelsea ended up with almost 10 million euro more than Man City even though we got to the quarter finals so I think when you look at the statistics it goes down to um, previous um, Champions League um, let's say where they stand in the uh, the current climate so which i think is really bizarre considering we got to the uh, champions league quarter finals we got uh, 60 just over 60 million euro uh, and uh, chelsea got 10 million euro more with it with liverpool coming in at around about 80 80 million euro and uh, real madrid winning it got 80 80 something so um, yeah it's a, it's a strange one but still it just goes to show regardless of what we think of the uh, of UEFA and the competition uh, that um, it's very financially beneficial to Manchester City to go far uh, in in the competition so yeah I do agree with um, I do agree with some of the sentiments of uh, City fans on Twitter, um, I, don't, I don't, but I can't agree with the fact of, of, of people calling out um, City fans for booing. Um, I think it's a, I think it's a, I think it's a different thing. I think it's, it's, um, we need to separate between the fact that City boo the UEFA Champions League. Uh, anthem at the beginning of the game um, and supporting the club uh, I don't think booing the anthem does anything to the players um, because they get called all sorts of names uh, during the game uh, away, you know, certainly at away stadiums um, so I don't believe just booing the anthem for 20 seconds, 30 seconds is going to have any adverse effect on on the players, so I don't I don't get that argument whatsoever. <clears throat> However, uh, I think um, people have come out and said, that, well, some people have come out and intimated that that's what Pep's getting at, and, and and I don't think that's what, personally, in my opinion, I don't think that's what Pep's talking about. I think Pep's talking about filling the stadium on Champions League nights and. Um, getting behind and getting an atmosphere and everything else but you know I'm also one who I'm in the camp of those who Champions League Premier League um, two games in a week some people can't afford to go to both um, regardless of season ticket it's not just about well they've got a season ticket so they should uh, they should turn up it's about <clears throat> Excuse me. It's about things like travel, bus, train, car, car parking fees, um, petrol. Um, whoever you're taking, if that's your children that go to the game with you, then you've got drinks, you've got merchandise, you've got a program, you've got um, a burger, you've got. I mean, it's you know, it's not cheap. It really isn't cheap. Um, thankfully, 
you know, my lads are self-sufficient. But I know what it was like as a season ticket holder taking my lads as kids to a game. Uh, and it was it, it was expensive. Um, and that was that was before I owned my own business. And, and times were tough and it, you know you were trying to make ends meet like everybody does and to take two kids your wife sometimes you to a game it was costing 100 150 pounds for the whole day and that was that was great I mean I love doing it but it's still very expensive and then to do the same thing again midweek for a period of a, a, a season it's a lot of money, you know, it's, it is a lot of money, you, you're talking about 100, 200, 300 pounds, depending on how many children you're taking, uh, whether you're taking your wife or you're taking your partner, your husband or whatever, it's a lot of money um, to be dishing out week in, week out for a period of four to six weeks, so, you know, I'm not in a, I'm not in a position whereby I... I'm in the camp of, you know, everyone should turn up regardless and shout and scream and support the team. I understand why people this day and age can't get to every single game. And it's, it is difficult, it's very, very difficult. Um, I'd love nothing more than to be able to go to midweek and the weekend or Monday night games, as is next week. Uh, but my work takes me away, so I can't be there sadly at the moment but um, yeah so it's very difficult and the argument over the Champions League um, atmosphere and everything else I think it's on different levels I don't think it's just on one level of the fact that you know people are booing the UEFA Champions League anthem uh, and I think if you want to boo it boo it you know they've pissed around they've dicked around with us they've been absolutely shit bags um, over Man City, they hated the fact that we um, have, have actually got into a situation whereby we're competing and now overtaking some of the major clubs that they've always loved, the AC Milans, the Barcelonas, the Real Madrids. So UEFA, under Platini in particular, hated the fact that City were could potentially be a dominant factor. So I think that gives rise to um, fans and the 60 million euro fine and everything else that went with it. I think um, with FFP, City fans have got every right to boo. Uh, and if you want to continue booing, fine, do it. I've, I've no, I personally no problem with it whatsoever. Um, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> what I do think though, <coughs> I'm getting a sore throat, air conditioning rooms all the time talking and training all day I've got a very sore throat so um, but what I do think is is the fact that um, when Pep talks about atmosphere and everything else that I do agree with him I think we as City fans when we turn up at uh, the Etihad on a Champions League night I think we well, we can boo the anthem but then I think we do need to make sure that we get behind the team and then secondly tickets I mean if if people are not going to actually turn up and go to the matches then City need to sort out something whereby uh, fans can say I'm not going tonight because of work or because of whatever reason and the club turn around and say right we're not going to charge you for that ticket but we're going to give it away free to a local charity a local school uh, and get the kids along, get get the next generation there with some excitement and energy and you know, screaming and shouting and I think that will really help. I don't think this whole, well, I've got my ticket but I can't make it tonight and let's leave the seat empty. Uh, it's a waste, it's an absolute waste. So City need to really look at this hard. The people who've just been voted onto the um, forum uh, Man City sort of you know discussion group or whatever you want to call it 
this is something that you need to seriously raise with uh, Manchester City and the people who are in charge of that because I think it's I think it'd only be right for season ticket holders to be able to in advance say look I, I can't afford to go or no I can't go because of um, uh, work commitments or family commitments and Man City sort of say right okay that's fine we're not going to charge you for it whatsoever but what we're going to do rather than have an empty seat is advertise it or give it to the local community and say to people who can't afford a season ticket there's one going if you want to come along this is it here's a an application put your name down and you'll be on a you know, descending list of you 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 apply first you get the free ticket uh, and and let people go for free or let the kids from local schools go for free because at the end of the day we're trying to generate uh, the next generation of fans so I think it's really it's an archaic sort of approach to the way that we manage uh, football in this country uh, it's just it's, I, I don't understand it I really don't because the seat is empty that's it don't charge the person for that seat whose season ticket is but give somebody the opportunity to go and watch a Premier League or a Champions League football match um, and they could be the next generation who's on the waiting list for a season ticket um, so yeah it's it's a weird one it's a I don't know what you guys think about it I mean like I said my thoughts have always been if City fans want to boo the anthem fine go ahead I booed it um, certainly when we at uh, Liverpool when we had Liverpool last year at the Champions League quarter-finals, I booed it um, for 20 seconds and then all I did with my lads and my wife was we just never stopped cheering and shouting and singing for the next sort of 98 minutes and, that, and that's okay um, so but I do think this empty seat thing and um, my thoughts are, like I said Premier League is, is always going to be number one but at the end of the day Champions League, we, we we could win it. We really could. So I agree with some of us that um, we should get behind the team a little bit more. But I, I don't think that's down to the fans. I think Man City themselves um, need to do more um, than just basically put everything through Pep onto us and say, you know, we need the fans behind us. We need this. Well, Man City, you know, you look at the money that's been made uh, by you and the team last season there's no reason why you couldn't give away those tickets or put in some sort of scheme that uh, those seats could be filled every single Champions League game and there's more I'm sure you could do for getting an atmosphere as well so anyway um, nothing else really to report today uh, there's bits and pieces in the media but nothing really worthy of, sort of spending any time talking about um, tomorrow night I am out in Baku, uh, I can't wait, uh, I'm going to meet up with Orkan and his fiance. Uh, they're going to come to the hotel, pick me up, uh, around about your time, about 2 o'clock, uh, we're going to go into Baku, we're going to go around, do some filming, um, see some sights, uh, which will be fantastic, go for something to eat, something to drink. Um, and I don't know what time I'm going to be back so I can't promise tomorrow um, I'm going to be able to put the video out uh, because I said now it's quarter to eight um, I didn't have a great night's sleep with being in three hours ahead um, I got to sleep about two o'clock woke up about six o'clock so I'm showered to ready for the course so uh, I'm still sort of time zoning uh, getting my body used to the uh, the time that it is here in Baku um, and sod's law by the time I get back I'll be trying to get back to UK time and then the weekend after I go to um, Bulgaria back to Sofia for a week so uh, yeah all over the place at the moment so I'm absolutely knackered but anyway don't forget keep subscribing guys thank you for the um, thank you for the uh, subscribers reaching the 4k it's absolutely amazing uh, and yeah 5k is next and don't forget I'm gonna keep saying it get your tickets for the charity event um, 9th of November David White Manchester 235 Casino Save Association 
Uh, it's going to be a brilliant night. Six free drinks for a team of six, £99. Uh, free entry into the casino, quiz, uh, prizes on offer, interviews with David and other players. Uh, we'll be there filming everything. So, I mean, it's, it's peanuts, guys. Uh, when we complain about getting tickets for the Champions League, this is going to turn out to be 12 quid. Uh, for a full night with drinks and everything else provided so um, yeah please contact us at mtfcfantv at gmail.com or go on to twitter I'm at, at aviation blue ray is man city underscore ray you can get contact you know search david white or mark mccarthy both of those guys, uh, but those guys are running the event, so you can get tickets from them. It's still available, so um, we'll see you down there. Anyway, Blues, don't forget, uh, comment below the video. Um, and hopefully, in the next day or two, Ray will be putting out some videos, uh, and hopefully he's got the interview with the Spurs um, fan channel or whoever it is. I don't know, because I've not really spoken to Ray, because he's been in Paris packing up the final bit of his uh, his move, his house, his apartment and getting everything back to the UK but uh, anyway guys this is Andy from Man City Fan TV in Baku I will see you tomorrow night hopefully um, with some pictures, images, videos, interviews uh, with City supporters here and all around the, uh, the centre of Baku so Guys, don't forget to subscribe to Man City Fan TV. We'll see you soon.